Hey, folks, we are back. Chill Tech is here with another podcast. June 7th, we're talking about WWDC. I'm Christian. We got Javon here with us. What's up, Javon? What's up? Ken's also back. Hey, what's going on? What, what, what? What's up, people? I, I know it's, it's brighter in there tonight. It's not so dark and gloomy. I, I, I can I gotta see turn it. Up. I got to turn it up for the crowd, you know? All right. All right. I like that. I like that. It's the what? It's Wonder Woman, man. You got to get out of the cave sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I haven't seen it yet. I have you guys seen it? Wonder Woman? No, not yet. I do plan I gonna, on seeing it. I was going to go see it yesterday, and then I was going to go see it today, and then I'm probably going to try to go see it tomorrow, but I still haven't seen it. Well, let me know. Let me know. I, I'm, hear, I'm hearing good things. Hearing good things. Good maybe, things may, right? maybe DC's coming back. <laughs> we here? No, they're not. Okay. I can't. I can't join y'all on the comic book stuff because I just right. I'm like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> me oh, too. Man. That's well. You know, Mike and Gregor are the real ones, but they're not here. So, Dang. moving on What's back good? to Apple. Hey, WWDC, the developer conference this year. Uh, the keynote. This guy, you know, I, I used to rock rock the iPhone, but I I, I left, mm. and uh, you know, feeling good, feeling good <laughs> after a, after the conference. I don't I don't feel like I'm missing out on too much, but we'll 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 get into it. What? We'll get into it. So f- first up, first up from from the conference, you guys was uh, Watch OS, first? Watch OS four. Yeah. Huh? Exciting. I mean, t- no. First of all, I, I saw Kia on the video. Like, the first thing was 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 TVOS, but hey. listen, <laughs> look, we are not discussing TVOS. I am upset. T- doesn't care about it. I'm not. I don't know hardware. The, us. Uh, I don't even. Uh, something about a series. You, something TVOS. about a TV. <laughs> something yeah, about no four K. Right? Yeah. I mean, useless. Useless. <laughs> useless. <laughs> So Keon, I mean, you know, TVOS. What's I up? I mean, not much have changed. We're getting Amazon. <laughs> We're getting new audio stuff. If you have like crazy Dolby Atmos speakers in your house that you haven't been able to use with your Apple TV, so I mean, you just like overspending on stuff. But I mean, for those people, you're gonna get some stuff in the future. Not even now. You don't even get to play with it now. And then if you don't care about any of those things, then nothing has changed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, you know, they brought Amazon in, which is, you know, well, they will be, they will be, will be, right? So, I, I mean, that's 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 a good move, you know. Um, I would appreciate that if I had one. <laughs> I thought you did have one. No. Oh. I've I've been waiting to buy the good one. <laughs> the good one's already out. I'm a, no. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh wait, you want to talk to people? Oh, uh, I don't care about 4K. I just care about I don't know. It's the whole thing is just. <laughs> I'm just mad. That's all. That's all. I, I, I have no logical reason. I'm just mad at Apple about the TV. Uh, all right. So I mean, I didn't use Amazon you can go to the, like stuff, the real first thing, the real quote unquote first thing, the Watch OS. Right. So Watch OS comes out now. No, in the fall, like yeah. almost everything else. Everything. Um, now for developers, if you have to be one of those people, then you can play with it now. All right, so the, the the big points. I'm gonna hit them real quick, and then we can kind of just discuss some of these things. So we got new watch faces. Woo! They got a Toy Story face. Got a Kaleidoscope face. We got a Siri, smart, intelligent face. All right. Google that. Um, <laughs> right. So, you know, the the the, the, the Siri face can can I, can I, can pull in things based off your location, time of day, your activity, your schedule, other stuff. Give them smart suggestions. Pretty cool. Um, they improved the workout app. And what yeah, I thought was cool yeah. is yeah, is, is the new Gym Connect. Yeah, um, yeah. So which which one of these things you, did kind of touch you guys, Ken? <laughs> uh, the biggest thing, honestly, to me was the Siri watch face because I literally care nothing about anything else. And I don't really care that much about Siri, but since you don't have a Google Home, I guess, or Google Assistant, this is the closest thing you're going to get to one. I don't know how effective she is, though, because I don't use her on my iPhone at all. But the Woody and the... The buzz, I don't care about that. <laughs> the gym stuff, who knows what gyms those are going to be in? Yeah, they, they keep saying eighty percent, but then but and, no gym names. But, exactly. Well, they, they they gave the gym, they gave, they the, gave gym, the manufacturer, the manufacturer name, but not equipment. when yeah. because yeah. it's not like going to just put it in the existing hardware, right? Like they got to go make and, new equipment. Yeah. But that's, also, that's one of like uh, Gold's Gym where you pay a hundred dollars a month to work out, which I'm not doing because I don't need my body to look like that. And, and, and real gym people don't use equipment. <laughs> yeah, this, guy. Right. <laughs> this guy. The raw metal and just. Oh god. 
you eat the protein. You know what I'm saying? So, so if I'm the one, to me. <laughs> using all, all the equipment wrong. He did he, 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 on, on YouTube. The guy that just like, <laughs> yo, no, who's, who's the guy from uh, from Planet Fitness? With the pizza pizza. I was saying, that's why I thought I was paying a fitness. You pay ten dollars a month, you get pizza on the first Monday. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. 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 Don't take donuts and brownies, hell yeah. They want to keep you. That's why. They they keep you <clears throat> gaining weight and then you stay at the gym. You never leave. Yo, work out for a month, you get a pizza to get that fat back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really too interested in the update for Watch OS. I'm slightly interested in an Apple Watch again, but none of what they showed me there made me more interested. Right. Yeah. How about how about you, Javon? So I don't use my Apple Watch when I'm not using my iPhone. So a lot of these updates here doesn't really. I mean, I, I use like a very basic watch face on my on my Apple Watch. I use the the one that has like the time and like the little like the big number for the hour and and then the hands and with and it's black in the background. So I mean, it, I don't know. The, the watch face is kind of they're not. I don't care. I mean, watches are dumb. <laughs> you know what I'm and the fact and the fact is that you still can't really add things to the watch faces to make them give you information that you want to add. I thought yeah. you can add what they call like complications or something. Yeah, complications. Yeah, complications you stuff. can, but you it's can. not the same. Like <clears throat> the, the, the like like Samsung does it better with the gear and so does Android with the um with the with the style and the sport. Yeah. Um, only those particular watches in general. Yeah. But all in all, I mean, I, I think the coolest thing besides. Bixby on the watch. <laughs> the Bixby watch face. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> like, no, um, honestly, it is the it is the gym connect. I think that's cool. I just because it's NFC, I want to see if it's like if this is only an Apple thing or if it's gonna plug into Google like fit down the road or whatever. Like we don't know. So, this, it has to be something bigger than just Does it? Only an Apple Watch. I, I just don't see if you look at some stuff that we'll talk about later, then it might <laughs> point to bigger things. Maybe, maybe I don't know. It just uh, we'll it seems see. weird, we'll but we'll see. see. Like, I, I think it's cool, but I don't. I mean, yeah, at the same cool. time, it's like how like those tracking this thing. If, if you're tracking your workout on your watch, why do you really need the tracking information from the, the machine? I don't, I don't well, know. Well, I mean, I mean it, it makes sense sure. because a lot of times the, the the information conflicts, right? Like you got a certain speed on the machine versus what your watch thinks you're doing. Yeah, um, okay, you know. but if you still have that now, then which one are you going to look at? <clears throat> well. That, that's that's the, the question is how does it determine the priority between yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the which one is more accurate devices. than the other? You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't know. I, I don't choose that. But the, yeah. but the tech the tech behind it's pretty cool, so I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for me, I like you know the the fact that they were had a big deal about the Toy Story face lets you know that there wasn't much to talk about. Yeah. Um, I was I was hoping to hear about this new uh, thing that Tim Cook's been wearing that's supposed to monitor your. Glucose, glucose levels, levels yeah. and all that stuff. Like I was thinking, hey, it's gonna come out this year. Bam, bam, bam. In, in but, a watch OS update. Um, I mean, I mean, they could have, they could have <laughs> your hardware, right? Like you know. Well, they could have. They could have. But they I didn't, thought so. there was gonna be new hardware with with different sensors in it. I didn't think that. Yeah. yeah I feel like that would be too soon. That's way too soon. Probably. They just did the series two like what three months ago. Yeah. Or was that last year? I don't I don't know, it was remember. last year. Series two was last year. Series oh, okay. two was was right was during, was during the uh, iPhone event. Oh, mm. okay. yeah. 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 Well, maybe fall. Maybe fall. Yeah, we'll so that's Watch OS four. Hooray! <laughs> Two minutes <laughs> done. All right. <laughs> On to something it's a little, a little more interesting. Um, is iOS eleven mm -hmm. uh, again releasing in the fall with with the the, the new hardware at least with the, with the new phones? I'm sure. On um, developers, you can have that now. Public beta is in July. Um, again, I'm not one to put betas on my my, my, my hardware anymore. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's because you got two phones, right? Like, see, I I, I rock one phone. On both. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you did. We already discussed that. <laughs> you got Android Oreo also. So was, this yeah. guy's brave. He's I brave. I've got I, courage. I, I can't afford to have <laughs> them break courage. future fight. <laughs> He's just like the GPS. Who needs yeah. it? Courage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know, if, if they break future fight, I'm gonna be upset. So my ancestors oh, yeah. didn't use it. I don't use it. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Speaking <laughs> of, so what I really enjoyed, I must say from, from from the whole event was that video that started out. Did you guys watch that that, that video? The one yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that that was pretty people. If you haven't yeah. seen that, go look it up. The Google, the not Google, Google, Apple Ooh. event okay. um video. It, it was good. It was good. It was the world with, without apps, and it was, it was it was pretty funny. So so coming up ios 11 uh two things i thought were really cool with, with the ipad features are the dock and the drag and drop multi-touch 
that for me, I think was the most impressive thing was seeing how both those things work as far as productivity. What do you guys think? I yeah. wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, I, I think the yeah, if iOS should have just updated only the iPad. I mean, this should have just been iOS <laughs> 11 iPad edition. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah, there, there, there were a, a lot of things for <laughs> everything we're going to talk about. Like, we're going to talk about the iPad, guys. Like, listen, everything that was cool was on the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, true. Now, but honestly, though, I think I think the coolest thing is all the you know productivity suite things you can do now on the iPad. With now you can, you can finally drag your uh, your apps, your split screen apps to the middle. That's a big deal. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. Job three, about. Apps, three apps per screen now too. Yeah, right. Three apps per screen. Yeah, no. This, this is we're finally getting somewhere here. This is this yeah. is good. The dock is nice because it's it's you know I, I like having the ability to just stick whatever you want in there, and the fact that um you know uh even like with the iPhone and stuff you know you still you know like have you have to have four apps on the bottom or whatever. It, it's cool to see that the iPad is not is you know using all the space. To do yeah, whatever. The, the, the dock looks like Mac OS basically. Like it's like a yeah. full dock. You can spread it out. You can bring it up whenever you want to and pull apps. I wonder if apps are bouncing. That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know right. I mean, it definitely, it definitely will help with productivity, uh, no doubt. Um, and, and it's kind of like they brought the. I'm not gonna say they brought the iPad back from the dead, but they definitely brought back a crowd that probably left. Yeah, yeah. productivity crowd. They probably said, you know what? Okay, we get it. It's an iPad. But we we have better things, but now they're like, okay, maybe I can start using this back again. I could do. Yeah, I think this is great. Not. This so, is yeah. great for tablets in general. Like I said, this is this is great <laughs> for the tablet ta the entire tablet market because now we're you know we're expecting a bigger push you know from whatever Andromeda or whatever is supposed to be happening in the fall, and then Samsung's still doing things with tablets. Amazon doing something with tablets. I think this is going to help solidify the tablet as its own category. I don't think we're talking anymore about replacing laptops. I think this is this is its own category now, and it, it might be just that, that lightweight solution for travel for, and, yeah. and getting things done. Yeah. So, to, think so to that point, they, they they had a couple other things also that I think were um, specific for the iPad in a way that that was the instant markup with with the pencil mm -hmm. um, and, and the document scanning. The document scanning, I thought it was pretty cool and very useful. Like for, they they showed like the, um, the, like, like like a fake permission slip, right? He had yeah. the iPad, he scanned it in, mm -hmm. it's perfect, he took the pencil, was able to just go ahead and sign that document. Like yeah. that is so useful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, okay. I, I, I can see that being being used a lot as far as even like, like, like an actual office work environment. You know, like you have yeah. things to sign, you just scan it real quick, sign it, mail it off. Um, Same thing in the best, I gotta tell you. <laughs> this is, this is. <laughs> okay, listen. I, listen. I, I love. I love from a, each other. You just gotta let somebody get it listen, first. I don't mind. <laughs> I love when Apple does things better, but I don't like when they say that it's there. That's all I'm saying. They made it revolutionary. The, the, the latest, latest innovation. <laughs> innovation in what? Because it's an Apple pencil. They should, <clears> it's revolutionary you know? now. But the coolest part, actually, of that scanning, wasn't actually the the market for me. It was actually when he scanned it. At like a ninety degree angle, yeah, he could bring it back up. Like, yeah, it was just like at one eighty, like perfectly fine and in all orientation. Yeah, that was it. dope. That was dope. I was like, okay, it's like I found myself <laughs> because you know I scan all the time using the iPad. I use a, <laughs> a, 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 a scanbot. Yeah, I think I use like Scanner Pro, or I forget what it's called. But yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff out there to use, and so this this, this may kill a lot of those apps actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Unfortunately for them, but I'm sure I don't. I mean, but is this one with the Pro, or is this one with the, other, with the iPad? See, that's what I was wondering because all these new iOS 11 features are great, but I don't necessarily want a giant iPad. I don't want the 12.9. I don't really want the 10.5. I really, I like the iPad Mini. That was my favorite iPad. <laughs> no, <laughs> chill. <It's good. laughs> but it's like, can I use this stuff on the Mini? Is this stuff Pro that's a good only? Point. That's like, a very good point. Yeah, from what I recall, day. as long as the device. Can run. All I'm saying is it just can, can run can eleven. Run sixty four bit OS. It should work, right? Well, that, yeah, that's still eleven now. The mini four. Yeah. The mini four can run can sixty four bit, right? Yeah. yeah it's just, just the mini two can. The two can't. The, yeah, the two can. The three. Well, three was a bad product. May depend on the camera though, right? As far as the scanning, potentially. I don't think they changed yeah, the, the cameras. Yeah, the pros. The pros have the iPhone seven cameras. Yeah, the pros now have the iPhone seven cameras for whoever takes. 
iPad. I, <laughs> right. well, somebody was doing that in the crowd. <laughs> I saw that at the beginning. He was like, <laughs> so somebody had, had had their whole MacBook <laughs> up. Yeah, right. This. I was like, this. people, people. <laughs> Oh, it's sad. It's sad. So speaking of big, huge things and putting them around, um, how about AR kit? Oh, go ahead, Devon. So, <laughs> honestly, I think Apple had to respond here. This, this is this is a, a must response. So we're all waiting for them to do talk about AR or VR. I like a, I like AR kit. Uh, it kind of like Tango in a way where it, it they focus more on putting things on flat surfaces. Uh, the demo the demonstration. Um, from Apple was kind of weak because they, they they showed Pokemon Go and didn't show anything new with Pokemon Go. <laughs> no, it, it it was new. It, no, it, it was new. Now he was on the It wasn't it wasn't dramatic. It wasn't dramatic, but he he did look. Listen, people like he was were like, placed more naturally, and the Pokeball did bounce on the <laughs> sidewalk. You're kidding me though, right? But he, doesn't it bounce on the sidewalk now? It, I it, think it just bounces in space. It bounces in space, right? Like it's it's it's, 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 right? it's not as accurate. It's not as accurate. Now it did look more accurate. Now is is it amazing? No, uh, but it but was this, an improvement. This, now now I guess it's, you know, just to say I did it. You know we yeah, had right. improvement. So I, I like guess. Apple Pokemon Go. We're cool kids, <laughs> you know? but but I think the what Stephen King showed with his demonstration and the whole space pirate Steve thing. Jackson. Well, I don't say Stephen King. I don't know, <laughs> man. Some, some some person of the uh, non-color persuasion, you know, they, this guy. they had they had an app, you know. No, but that that didn't look dope. That was cool. That was nice. It was it was amazing to see how things came in from like I like the cool thing was seeing the ships come in and they were all like flying all around and then you can like see them coming in from like like the outer space like side. And I was like that that's dope. And in a way, it seems even more fully baked than Tango. It seems more fully baked than. Then um, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, what Microsoft's doing Hololens, you know. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about this is that they're saying it works for all devices that can run iOS 11. So yeah. you don't have to buy a special Tango phone like Google has to be, or you have to, or, or or you know, or have some special camera or whatever hardware piece to do it. So. Yeah, this this could be very successful given how well Apple does with the developer community and how they really do. Like as you see, Google doesn't really have that many demos for the events, right? They tell you what yeah. the, what it does, and then it's like you have to assume and kind of imagine. But Apple will bring people on that have been working with with their technology and show you what they're doing with it already. Although I think um, Pixel will have things built in this year. I mean, it will. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But you know, like. The, the same way that, 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 that the app store kind of blew up and developers yeah. just flocked to it and started making mm -hmm. like high quality experiences. I think the same thing may happen with, with, with AR kit, oh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, unreal engine, all, all the things are, are going to come, 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 come to play. And it's going to be something that's pretty cool. Now I'm eager to see how we start using this for work applications. Um, you know, but for now it looks like it's mostly games, which how a lot of things start off and then we'll get serious. Later on, Which is, yeah, and that's fine. I, th I think that's great. I think I think that's that's really what you want to do. You know, focus on what works, and I think the games are the best way to get people involved and interacting, uh, or interactive into into using AR Kit. But Pokemon Go is not a good demonstration because it's something that already exists. <laughs> I don't yeah, know I, what I'm saying. Like, I just yeah, thought, I mean, that, true. That was, I, I I didn't expect that they would show more than they did. Right? I mean, again, it looked incrementally better, but again, I turn it off anyway when I play Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's too much battery and it's too <laughs> slow and it's, it's and, and they jump around. I turn AR off. So yeah. that's just me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> like, I, I, because with it on, you look dumb because you, you're like turning around and trying to follow them and it's yeah, like, right? it's dangerous. So I turn it off yeah. and it's just here and I flick it and I get it and it's, it's, it's done. <laughs> anyway, enough Pokemon Go talk. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there are a few other things that weren't as exciting. Apple Pay to Friends. Uh, uh, so apples, apples. Y'all don't like apples to apples, bro? That, How? That, 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 that was smart. That was a very strategic move from Apple. Very, yeah. very smart. Because I feel like a popular Vimeo is going right now. Um, it just makes sense. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm actually surprised Android didn't do this, or even Samsung or whoever didn't do this. Pay to, right. But I, I know we have Pay to Pay with, like, Wallet and, and Gmail and stuff. Right, but having it, but having it, but having it with the Apple Pay, have the Android Pay should have had, because no one uses wallet. You know what I'm saying? Like no, no one uses wallet. So I need wallet, but okay. 
<laughs> you used to use wallet. No, I still no, use, I use, I use wallet. wallet. <laughs> I use wallet all the time, actually. Really? Oh, yeah. God. This guy. It's easy. I used, to use wallet. I used to use wallet, but you don't know what, wallet. It's like one of those things that I'm a buddy from Google to be like, "Yeah, we're done." So, okay, so I use which they like to do. Which, I can't deny that. I I think Apple Pay to friends and the way and, and the way that it works, like you know how how wallets Gmail Pay with like emails, all that stuff works. Very smart implementation, seems very easy, and the fact that it, has, it creates its own Apple debit card and then links that to your to your account means right. that you don't have to wait that day like PayPal mm-hmm. makes you wait like 24 hours or whatever for that money to transfer, right? This is mm-hmm. instantaneous. Very smart, very, very good move. Yeah, I did enjoy that a lot, even though I don't think I, I message anybody who I'm giving money to, but um, I, did, <laughs> I did enjoy it. I mean, it's quick. <laughs> If you have some type of situation where you need to give somebody money and you just know they have an iPhone, you have an iPhone, boom, apples to apples. There you go. But uh, there's something else I totally slipped my mind. Oh, it's something next. Okay, never mind. We're good. But yeah, I, I enjoy that Apple <laughs> thing. It's nice. All right, cool. So next up is the App Store revamp. Um, we know as the stores get bigger, it's more and more difficult to actually find things in the store, uh, find what's new, and just you know figure out how to navigate the environment. So Apple came through and kind of did a revamp. They kind of split it up. We're going to have the app store and the game store kind of thing. Um, what do you guys think? Now let me, before, before, before Javon, let me ask you guys a question. How often do you guys just jump in the app store looking for something new? I do it at several times a week. Really? Because I, but I, I'm addicted to new things. Like that, I'm saying for that, that checks for, for OS updates every day. Like I, I go and I click, uh-huh. Check for update. Click no. Okay, I keep, I, I'm just compulsive about that. So every now and then I'll go. To, I'll go to the app store. Anything new? But on Android, it's difficult the way they have it anyway. They, I can't. It's not curated very well. Anyway, for me. I, well, oh no, yeah, Javon. What about you? No, I, well, I was saying because right now the way that Android does it, it's supposed to be like based on you, how you search apps and stuff. Which so I everything like. that you do is supposed to be based on what you like, which is nice, and I feel like the design. Of 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 uh, the place where it looks good, I just don't like. I I mean I just I don't search for apps. You know what I'm saying? Like like I just don't get searching for apps. For if I see something I like, and it's on the front page, I guess it's there. But I mean, most of the time, someone has to talk about it or use yeah. it already. Prefer to be. I would even. I'm, I'm never like. Let me check the games tab and see what's in the top ten right now. And that's how I am. I'm not just like jumping in the stores looking around. The only, pretty much the only way I'm downloading something new is somebody says something about it. Like either a, a tech site has said something about it. My friend hit me up and said, yo, check this app out. It does A, B, and C, and I think you'll probably like it. That's really the only time I download new apps. Or, mm-hmm. if, I, or if I need to do something like, oh, all of a sudden I need to, uh, let's say I'm, I'm starting podcasts. Let's say all of a sudden I need to start doing podcasts, so I'm going to look in the store for just like the top three podcasts out, but I'm not ever just looking just to look. And I love new stuff, but I, <laughs> new apps, <laughs> I don't really. Yeah, I don't now, down. now I, I don't usually go any deeper than just looking, just kind of scrolling through, but I definitely will check a few times, a few times a week to see what's on here. So sometimes, because like an Android, it'll have like like the, the pre-release apps. Mm-hmm. So I'll kind of scroll through there, see if anything coming up that I want to click to be notified for. Um, and then I go on. And I used to check when I had Apple just because there's like free app every week. And I want to check and see what it is. Do I want that? Yes or no? Move on. Android did that for a few weeks, but they did they stop or what happened? I don't know if they stopped or anyway, if it's I, like, I just can't hard. find it or they think I don't care. I don't I don't know. Anyway. Um, I don't know yeah. if they're after that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. right. Ain't care. Like, you ain't care. We ain't care. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, nah, never mind. Yeah. So, you know, the App Store revamp, you know, they're, they're hoping to have b- better curation and better discovery. Um, uh, better discovery. They try to try to surface the, the new things for you to, to see it easier. So, you know, it should, should help them make some money um, and help those people that actually do look, you know, click something new. But overall, though, like, do we. Do we like the design of the Apple of, of the new episode? I honestly it's, do not. It's <laughs> uh, yeah. a lot of wasted space. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is. It's yeah, I don't I don't like it at all. I, I I like what they're trying to do, but I don't think it looks right. Like, cause I got because I don't want to sound like that guy, but the Google Play Store, it's it just looks better. I don't like the Google Play you, Store. You know what I'm saying? 
You're, I, you're I, I, I think it's Apple. hideous. I, I much prefer really? the Apple Store. For yeah, me, I really like the both ver- both of the older versions, like the App Store before this one and the Google Play Store before the last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love both of those. Like, why did y'all change it? <laughs> See, before material design, material design, it was actually way easier to find stuff. But, but I guess everyone's trying to discover new indie apps and other things, which is good, you know. But I'm just saying, yeah. as a design, I, I prefer like the the green and like the. I'm just the talking white. about the last redesign where they ch- they switch things, switch the tabs over and stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, these, I don't know. But I don't think it's a personal preference. I feel like the one that it looks pretty bad. Right. I mean, if, if, if you think about it, the whole point of the story is to show you new stuff. Like, if you know what you're going to get, you would just type it in and go download it, right? Like, you don't need a store for stuff you know you're going to go get. That's <laughs> <laughs> why you know, I'm never in the store. You, you know, know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, so, you know, they, I guess they, they, they have a need to optimize it for the new apps and people looking for something new. Yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to ever go on there. I mean, it makes sense. Um, and so it, it may start getting, getting you on there, Ken. You, you'll, you'll go in, and, and every, every time you see something new, you'll go back more often to check. Hey, what's new today? We can make a bet if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Saw this right now. <laughs> All right, well, that, that's the App Store. Not, not too exciting, but you know, maybe it'll help somebody find, find something new. Uh, we'll, we'll see, as, as Greg would say. Greg would say, Greg, miss it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, a, a couple of things as far as iOS and driving on the road, they have something called Do Not Disturb While Driving. Now, this, I thought, is, is a very responsible move. So basically, you can set Do Not Disturb While Driving. Notification comes in. You pull up your phone. It's black. You see nothing. You cannot use it while it's in that mode. And you can set up to even automatically text someone back to say, hey, um, I'm in Do Not Disturb While Driving mode. I am driving. I'll get back to you when I'm done. Do you guys use this? No. I would. <laughs> no? Absolutely not. So you want to text while driving. Okay. I, I, I Everything while driving. <laughs> <laughs> so I absolutely do not care about do not disturb. Like, I mean, <laughs> from a company standpoint, yeah, I see why you have it. It's, I see it. But from personally, like my use, I will never use it. AT and T threatened them. They'll, they'll stop selling their. They'll stop selling their phone <laughs> with, with, with bloatware if you don't uh, uh, add this into your to your maps. Now, honestly, I, I I like the why they did it because I do feel like people need to stop texting and driving. I don't text and drive, um, but I feel like there's a better way to do this than how they did it. Like Motorola did it a couple of years back with the X, and okay. they, uh, you know, they what's were. The, what's the better way? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How so? The, the better way to do, do not disturb is that when you're driving, do not disturb. If you get a text message, it reads it out to you out loud, and then you can go ahead and. That's car and, play, though. I mean, it's car play, but my thing is, but if you do not disturb, let's say you want it, you're you're getting it, and you're just like, I don't want anything more or more anymore. Turn on the car. You no, know, turn. Just say, hey, turn on do not disturb mode, and then it does it that way. And then if you wanted to get it again, you're going to say turn off, do not disturb mode. I feel like it should be voice activated. Yeah. It, should, well, it, should be, it should come on automatically. Well, see, the, the, the whole issue with, with, this, with distracted driving isn't simply the visual, right? It's also the audio. It's also you hear something and you instinctively want to go and look at the phone, right? So if you hear a text message coming in, you're going to be more inclined to go and start using but the phone. We use, our phones, say, well, we use our phones for audio sources oh, all the time, whether it's over, over, like a podcast over Bluetooth. That's, music, that's totally music. different. Like, like it, it's like listening to music versus someone sitting there talking to you, asking you a question, and saying, "Explain to me one plus one equals three. Or so, you know, like that's a whole different thing than I'm listening to podcast or music, right? It's two totally separate brain functions. But I mean, for Javon, I do know that like the do not disturb they have on the phones now, you can either turn on automatically, like you, you can either turn it on by yourself, or you can have it automatically turn on. So I'm assuming that they'll have some way to detect your driving so that it can automatically turn on. Or you can turn on yourself. Right. Well, it says they said in, in the keynote that they were gonna, that they were going to, like kind of like, you know how, how how Motorola did it, where they when you were driving, they, they thought you were driving with your passenger seat. It's like, hey, are you actually driving? And then you're like, no, and it turns it off or whatever. Yeah. But there should be like some type like of Pokemon Go. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. No, like, <laughs> but like I'm a passenger, be, passenger. <laughs> but there, there needs to be like an in between, you know, when it comes to do not disturb. And I feel like, and actually somehow interacting with your phone. Maybe Apple just needs to do what Google did and put like a CarPlay mode into iOS. Oh, uh, so you don't have to actually have the like the head. Yeah, in it. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Because I, 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 I feel like they're trying to do something like that, but it's like they don't. 
they, they they don't know how to do it. And and, and Apple they want to throw out a whole new update rather than give us an app. So, well, they also want to have other people do it so they can see it, try to perfect it in their eyes. Yeah. 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 So the the, the next amazing thing that Apple did, get this, <laughs> get this. Okay, Maps, are you ready? Maps has lane assist. What? Nobody has that. What? No. <laughs> Revolutionary. Oh my what? god. What? Why this? This inventive. Me? Because nobody uses Apple Maps. The only thing <laughs> Apple Maps is because it has lane on it. So. <laughs> well, they, this done. this might get people to go back and use it. I don't know. That left. Apple Maps had a lot of dirt just on the name. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not right? even the server. like, it could really be, because they also said they're going to add speed limits on there, which is something I need. But yeah. it's like, I already, I've already been burned, quote unquote, before. Yep. And nobody has said anything great about it. So it's like, why even try out new stuff when I already know this other thing works just yeah. fine? Yeah, it, it it may end up being like more or less the the casual people or the new people that get an iPhone for the first time. They just they never go get something else. They just use Maps and whatever. But I I used to always use either Google Maps or Waze. So and they're always getting better, right? And, and, and let's talk about the real reason why this is stupid. Why does why does this require an entire OS update? True that. That's why, that's why <laughs> I don't understand still. Why right. haven't we moved Maps to the play to the app to the, to the app store? Yeah, apps, that's everything apps Apple related in apps should be moved that's to the app store. Dumb as well. Maps yeah. on the app store? No, it, it's it's part of the system, the core system update. Yeah, that's that's dumb. Now no, no, that's, that's, that's no, they should have announced. No, it's it's in the it's in the app store now. It is because you can delete it and you can you can re-download it. Well, I mean everything well, that's, that's core you can delete, quote unquote, and re-download. Nope, not it, everything, but, but well, most of the things. But it's 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 a core system. This feature is a core part of I, of iOS eleven. You should you should be able to update maps right now and get this feature with Lane with Lane Assist in iOS ten. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but they're they're not doing that yet. They should start. Man. That'll be that, iOS twelve. That's like that's what? like I know, right? <laughs> iOS twelve. We're gonna give you guys the ability to update your apps when you want to. Stop <laughs> innovation. We have the courage to give it back to you. The courage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the courage. Uh, take it away. Huh? <laughs> Uh, speaking of courage, all right. Well, let's 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 move on from this iOS thing. I think we we beat iOS into the ground. You know, not not anything too too exciting, but wait, there's, there's two there's things more? you missed. There's oh, tell me one what, what more thing or two more things actually. One, the most the worst thing about iOS 11, you know the little dots at the top of the phone that tell you like how much signal you have. They change it to bars, and I am <laughs> highly upset. <laughs> highly upset. No, but for real though. But also, they did change the um, what's it called? I don't know if you can see it. Control. Oh center. yeah, yeah, control center. I, I didn't control know about that. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about it yeah, just yet. Yeah. I forgot about that. Well, one, the one thing is that you know you had your home on one screen where you could just turn on lights. Now the home's a button that takes you to the home app. Or you could 3D press it, and then you can get back to your apps, which is cool. But if you dig around in the control settings, they have a record screen now. So you can record your screen without plugging your phone into your Mac, and it could record audio from the microphone, too. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's nice. In iOS 11. But, um, yeah, I think I think everything else was, was well, yeah, well, uh, If we're going to bring up the little details, also, I guess, <laughs> notifications. <laughs> I mean, oh notifications. yeah, notifications look stupid. They yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I was just gonna say that. Like, how can you get yeah, worse? I, I just ignored that altogether. How do you get worse notifications than the year before? <laughs> you can't swipe right it. to get into it. You can't swipe left to throw it away. What? I, I don't. I don't know what's yeah. going on. I don't know what's going on. I, I hate notifications when it comes to Apple. I I, I just try to never respond to anything unless unless I'm in the app. IOS 10, okay, it was doable. Like, oh, they should they they should have had group notifications. All right, whatever. I can deal without it. IOS 11, what is this? What right. is this? Like, so. they were they went backwards. I was like, and then and I only got it changed. You have to go. You go back to your home lock screen now when you drag down. Yeah, you go back to your lock screen. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? You can't swipe left or right because if you swipe right, you go to your camera. Swipe left, you go to, your camera, <laughs> to day view. I was like, so how do I get rid of these notifications? You don't. Right. You just they're, like, they're, they're like, you there. You press the X on every single one, and you and you and you and you, and you gotta like it, right? Yeah, yeah. You like the worst. I hate Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so right. <dumb. laughs> 
Yeah, if you start getting blown up in an app, you're gonna hate you're gonna hate uh, your phone. You just turn that turn turn off get off of that app. Like, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I don't care about email anymore. I don't care about Facebook anymore. Forget it. Um, I'll find out later. But yeah, now we done. Now we done. Oh, <laughs> all right. So in general, I was eleven. We get a thumbs up, a medium, or a thumb, it had a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Medium. I'm gonna get you sideways right yeah. now. No, 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 but we're also, we're assuming that we're gonna get see new things maybe from the iPhone with iOS 11 or no? There's, there's, there should be something that I mean, I mean, they, 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 they don't announce that's related to the hardware that's also part of the OS, but, yeah, but right. what's that, what's that, what that's going to be? Who, who, who can say? Yeah, awesome. yeah, Probably not too exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'll be a software headphone jack. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Christian don't know what he's talking about! <laughs> <laughs> he said, Bluetooth what? 5 what? Right now. <laughs> We're invaded. They're going to be like, we give to you guys. We're the first iPhone ever. <laughs> <laughs> you like, well, yeah. Right. I mean, with the audio, yeah, right? technically, you're right. Yeah, right. yeah, I guess you're right. You know what I'm saying? Innovation, I mean, like, sure. Tim Cook be shopping y'all those words. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so courageous. So and, uh, also, also, we got to at least give, give a shout out for that jab. Yo said, and D said, um, and at time of this recording, he was like, Andrew only has uh seven percent on the right <laughs> yeah, and then, out, of nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere out of nowhere here comes um uh what's his name um Heshemeyer, whatever, whatever the guy is the head of android and whatever he's just like um actually 8.9 but who's going <laughs> <laughs> right. right. i guess whole, you are you like the whole chart you're like actually yeah. let's look at it. <laughs> he's just like and he's yo, just, yeah that's way better Midway through the keynote, Google released like developer images for the phones. I was like, "Really, y'all? Y'all just like, oh, having two hours?" <laughs> they were waiting. <laughs> oh man! Oh, really oh, for gosh. Apple. All right, so on on to some hardware news. We got the new iPad Pro mm -hmm. and a ten and a half inch version. So the the nine point seven is becoming ten point five. So same size, bigger screen. Uh, the storage options, we got 64, 256, and 512. All right, we've got the Apple A10X processor, okay? <laughs> and 120 hertz refresh rate. Huh? Who's yep. buying this right now? Nope. Devon? Did you order one? Of course, of course. Yep. Yep. Devon likes to just burn De money. De like, Devon, what Apple? size did you get? What? Huh? What, what storage size did you get? I, I've ordered, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to order probably 256. Okay. I'm not gonna find twelve only because this, 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 that makes no freaking sense for an iPad. You can put all your movies on there. But but traveling. if I could, or if I could, if I could spend thousand dollars on a tablet, I would. I just can't do that right now. It's, for me, it's weird that they push five twelve or more storage, but they're also pushing iCloud. They even gave you two ter. They, Man, the speed, right. the what's it called? The pricing. Yeah, it's like ten dollars, yeah. right? For like but two no one's gonna use. The reason why they have that pricing there because the pricing. No one wants to use iCloud. Let's be real. So I love iCloud. I hate I iCloud. Sixteen I hate gig iPhones. iCloud. <laughs> <laughs> I hate iCloud. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. iCloud. Is, cloud is life, bro. Not just iCloud. Dude, all cloud. Yo, yo, all yo, cloud yo, is yo. life. When I when I try to sign in on my MacBook to access my iCloud, it's just like we sent you another confirmation code. I'm looking at my phone. Oh, you got two factor. That's your fault. Right? And I'm, I'm, like, I'm just like, I'm like, right, waiting for this code. I keep sending the refresh page. I'm like, oh yeah, we sent it to an iOS device. I'm like, God damn it! So, so I go turn on my phone, right? I, I get I get the code and I put it in. It's like, yeah, this code expired. So you can't be like, secure and have uh, a that's cloud. Your you gotta fault. choose one. I'm just like, I hate it. So why can't they? If I put my phone number in, send it to my damn phone number. No, it goes by your actual phone. That's just stupid. I'm Which like, I think is is more secure. No, no, it's not. It's not. You do not it's want it. I mean, I want it. I want phone, it, the, phone I want it fine, the phone number is not secure. Someone I want it on my Pixel. Jack yeah. your phone. People number. be trying to do that all the time. They be trying to switch SIM cards. Like that's not how yeah. it works. That <laughs> 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 serial number don't look right, man. <laughs> I, I, hope, I was hoping for a matte black though. I what, mean, uh, do, 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 do we care uh, about the colors? colors? Yes. Yeah, man. Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Totally>. What? <laughs> Totally. Christian, what's your desk look like? Because I, I feel you got like reds over here, some blues, <laughs> <Right>? greens. <laughs> Rag all kind of matters, colors. man. <laughs> you got to all black, that, everything. That, that matte black uh, uh, iPad, iPad Pro would have been would have been love. Um, but, just, you know. The silver? I settled set for the space gray, whatever. Oh, space gray, okay. Yeah. So just the normal colors. You just want more colors. Yeah, I just, that's one of the darkest color they got. Uh -oh. You want a lime green or something? 
Oh, now, now, if they had that, if they had that essential phone ocean color, I'd have rocked with that. Oh, the ocean. Oh, oh. that just was clean. That that oh. that, that peel green blue drink, clean, clean, my man. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. So, iPad Pro, we, we, we excited about this. Um, I just, I'm still in the camp that believes that tablets. While I, Apple did talk about a lot of iOS 11 stuff that we went over a little bit earlier that brought this bringing tablets back to, you know, productivity people. I'm not sure how useful a tablet is just yet. I'm still not believing in tablets just yet. Yeah, it's, it's hard because since tablets cost so much, if I'm going to have one device, I'm not sure I want that one device to be a tablet, right? Mm. Like, I think I'd much rather have a laptop or a Chromebook or something if, 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 if I only have one. If and, I can have two, then do I need to do all this stuff on, on the tablet? I don't know. And just for me, it's like, okay, some some tablets are getting bigger and more powerful, but then at that point, I really just want my computer. Small <laughs> ones usually don't perform, and it's just like, uh Yeah. You know, what? I'm just, that's the part of me. I'm The new iPads don't excite me. I don't know if they excite Javon. But you, Javon, you have the old generation iPad Pro, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's still 9.7. So you you like the new upgrades? I think I think only because of the screen size. The the I, I like the fact that it's ten point five because it's closer to the Pixel C and that getting the apps one hundred percent evenly down the middle. With nine point seven, you can't really do that. Now I'm still not a fan of. I'm still not a fan. I like four by three. On tablets, we kind of need to go two by uh, three by two now. I just feel like that's probably the best size for tablets now. What is the pixel? Pixel was one over the square root of two. One one over the square root of two. It's like they 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 made that joint perfect. Like they did to go every app is it's right down the middle. So, so <laughs> one over the square root of two. Is it not like sixteen <laughs> by nine or sixteen by ten? It's like it's one, one, one over the square root of two, bro. I am. It's that, is not, that is not what the spec says on the website. Yeah, that's that's the spec say. Is it, not, it should say like Google, sixteen by ten. <laughs> <laughs> Google Pixel C. Uh, aspect ratio. It was one over square root of two. <laughs> like, oh, he trying, trying to configure it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let, let me go to WikiLeaks real quick. <laughs> like, yeah, he's gonna Photoshop some some screenshot. I'm like, yeah, see, you, Christian, you get one over the square root of two, which translates to about one point one point four one. That is not a ratio. Ratio for me is not the fraction ratio. I mean, like the. Yeah, the aspect ratio of the screen. It's it's it went over the square root of two, man. No, no, Christian, what about you? Are you interested in the uh tablets? Yeah. Are you thinking about buying one? Again, I, I have like like an iPad Air for work that I use mostly for testing purposes. Um, but as far as tablets, I, I get I, I I don't see a huge use case. If if I'm traveling, do I want to take a tablet and a keyboard when I could just have a laptop? Probably not. Um, so again, it, they're nice for watching movies on the plane. Um, they're nice I mean, for gaming. Mobile gaming is fun. Um, so you you don't you don't like the like the the, the keyboard with the the tablet? Like I mean, for battery life is way longer. I, I think just having a laptop is better. Really? I don't. You know, yeah. now the, the the one use case I do see for tablets is art because we we see the, the pencils and people doing art. I I can see that use case for a tablet. Um, you mm -hmm. hold it, you can draw on it like like you're drawing. Um, if you want to take notes, um, it seems like that's getting better, um, especially if you up the ref refresh rate um, with, with, with the Apple Pencil. So, you know, there, there, there is that. Um, so, yeah, so for taking for note taking, if I'm going to draw on it um, for doing art, I think it's I think it's good to have a tablet. Beyond that, I think people are forcing it still. That's just me. Dang. I mean, I agree with that. <laughs> drop the hammer. Yeah, I, I mean, I you know, trying trying to be practical about it. You know, what I'm saying it's you know, it's it's still mostly a toy ad, I, I think. I feel that. All right, y'all. Now that we're all down <laughs> with the iPad, right. let's, let's, let's get high. Let's get oh! high. <laughs> Mac OS High Sierra. Holy Bates. Let's go. Right. He really he really said that. Oh, yeah, that, that dude had all the dad jokes. But he's the most yeah. interesting person that they have out there. Oh, yeah. Air Force Bye -bye. One, man. And he, he smokes all the Google people, I must say. They are boring as what? 
those keynotes. Hey, listen, man. Everyone knows Microsoft is being keynotes. Mm. That one dude with the hair. Oh my god. What's that saying, one yeah? dude is good, but the rest of them suck. Yeah, man. That guy's awesome, man. <laughs> He's like surface. Let me tell you about surface. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, tell me about surface. <laughs> this guy. All right, so Mac OS High Sierra. So this, yeah. this comes out in the fall again. Wait, 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 now, wait, wait, wait. We didn't vote on, on we didn't vote on the on the iPads. I I, I think <laughs> we're mostly <laughs> This is too ready though. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> this guy. Uh, mother, mother. This guy could not wait. He couldn't wait to vote. <laughs> He's like, Please. We got early voting. <laughs> <laughs> right. I right. voted yesterday. All right. I, I All got right. the popular vote. Are we, good, Are we good? Are we good? You happy now? You got your thumbs up. Oh, Feel yeah. good. Feel good. Great. Can we discuss High Sierra now? Yeah, yeah. The best name for any Mac operating system that they've ever <laughs> had. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. They, they oh, probably did it just for the jokes. Like, look, we're gonna have this amazing joke about being fully baked. Is gonna be <laughs> love it. Even in the app store, it says your Mac elevated. And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, right. You guys. <laughs> Somebody thought it was funny. I like it. I actually enjoy it. All right, so. Hi Sierra, some 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 high points. <laughs> the <laughs> Apple file system. Um, yeah. They're, they're kind of going back to the 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 bedrock layer now. So the file system, they're updating to the Apple file system. It'll be a modern, secure, fast, sixty-four bit file system. Yep, yep. Good. What do you think about that? I Solid. Much needed. Yep. HFS is dead. Yeah. Yep. You don't like Fat Fat Thirty Two? No. Oh. X fat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it even does it retroactively too. You don't even need to go buy a new uh buy a new Mac. You can just uh, yeah. upgrade your own Mac. That's what's up. Love it. Faster Safari? I mean I don't need Safari. I don't, I don't know. Safari. <laughs> so, who, who uses Safari? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people do. <laughs> regular, I think I think regular people use Safari. Well, I mean, like, like Apple diehards. Apple diehards. Yeah, a lot of people who use Apple people computers use Safari. Yeah. Like regular Apple people, and then Apple diehards use Safari. Yeah. Apple diehards will will, will find a way to hack Safari into a Windows computer. <laughs> just just because they have these. So you have them in there, and they said for you. I know. So I got on there. Never mind. Uh, or, 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 or they use Safari Seven from the old days. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't. I don't use Explorer. I don't use Chrome. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> I use Safari. <laughs> <laughs> Fire what? <laughs> yeah, so that that wasn't too exciting, but you know, it's it's something new. We got updates to iMessage with iCloud integration. Oh, that's weird that we have it under Hot Sierra. But still, I that's oh my god. As a customer service for a certain tech company, that is I love that. I love that so much. I'll get less calls in the future. Oh yeah? Yeah. I message <laughs> man. People call for that all the time. I get my messages. I don't get my messages, but I mean, my question is though. Now, <laughs> does this mean if I get an iMessage and I'm not using my, I turn iMessage back on my iPhone, and I get an iMessage and I don't see it on my on my Pixel because, you know, my Pixel doesn't support iMessage, would I be able to go check on that message from the cloud? I mean, from the cloud, you can go check it on your MacBook or on your MacBook. MacBook. it doesn't show up. They they're lost in 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 messaging limbo. So no, you they want were, like a, but now they're not. An no, iCloud oh, not web app. Not. So now, so now they won't be no more. So now they're gonna be. But like, you can't go to iCloud.com and see them. Okay, so it's not like so it's not like Hangouts or anything like that. No, no, no. It'll just be okay. it'll just be like if you have an Apple device, like your MacBook or your iPad or whatever, you don't have to go through the all the steps of continuity and getting everything set up. It's mm -hmm. just gonna be all in one thing, well, and they'll back up. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the question: Does it use up space in iCloud? Because Apple yes. feels. I knew it. They're, they're so <laughs> sneaky. They're so sneaky. That's they're all they so story. Yeah. That is messed up. You gotta buy that storage. <laughs> not even Google does that for their stuff. They're like, yeah, man, if you're using an app that has a feature built in, that has a backup, then you know that doesn't count against you. That's because Google wants to take all your information. So yeah, they like, give, it free. Free. give it to Google, them. They're going to start through all your, all all your stuff. So, girl, <laughs> I hate you, Apple, when you're iCloud. That's why I hate iCloud. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that goes in your iCloud is taking your iCloud space. It ain't like Google. That's why, that's why I got rid of my iCloud. I'm not getting rid of it. But it's not signed into it. I'm not signed into it at all. 
<laughs> they are trying to make money. They're not trying to make friends, bro. <laughs> 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 exactly. True. <laughs> All about the money. All right, yeah. photos. Improvements there. You, got, you guys like, excited about that? Oh, the app. The app's dope. Yeah, I don't use photos either. I don't use it, but the app's pretty dope. I used to, but my my Mac. It, it's good for organization. Now, so I'm I'm done with that. Well, they got all the new like they have new editing features. So if you don't want to yeah. go download whatever photo thing is, I don't know any off the top of my head, but you don't have to. It also yeah. integrates that you can now uh, open things directly with mm-hmm. Pixelmator and all the stuff right now with, without having to make a save file and changing them stuff. So that's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. I think it's it, the going. I think Apple is coming back to creators with, with these updates. They're kind of coming back to the creator side of things, which is good. Yeah, I did see that they, they do have integration now with third parties for like printing and all that. So mm-hmm. yeah, like they 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 always had that you can like make make your own books, but now they'll have third parties that'll be able to kind of link in with your library and to make it while you're there, make videos, whatever. So I think that's going to be really nice for sure. That one company that you guys like was putting pressure on them with the creator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We don't speak that name in my house. (laughs) (laughs) Adobe. <laughs> none, of those, none of those names in this house. <laughs> He's like, this is a final cut home. But then, get it out. break it. Nah, Chromebooks can stay. They just gotta figure out how to put final cut on. I have a Surface Pro with Windows 10 ass on it. <laughs> oh, you don't live here. <laughs> But uh, what up? What's next, Chris? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we had uh, mail split screen and some other stuff with that. Um, I mean, split screen is still bad on Macs. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Without third party yeah. support, yeah, it is. It is yeah. bad on Max. Yeah, for sure. Better life improvements. Yeah. Who can complain good. about that? Yeah, there's nothing yeah, to complain can. about. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, they 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 say so. Um. Now I'm. I was. They didn't give a lot of detail, but you know they have they've up- upgraded Metal, Metal Two, <laughs> huh? I mean that's for you guys. Like you guys are the gamers. So let me ask this: Metal Two, Christian. I don't know if you watched the announcement. Did you go back and watch the whole announcement? Yeah, I, I watched it. I watched okay. it. Okay, so you're a gamer, uh, I but you're not. Here, I don't know if you're a Mac user though. Are you? Here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Gaming and Mac don't go together yet. As, as far as I'm concerned, it's yeah, still dumb. They're they're trying. They're trying mm-hmm. to come in. I don't trust it yet. Um, but th- th- it's it's a good step. But again, why did they have to go and rebuild something? Um, I don't know. It's- metal Metal Two is Direct X Twelve wannabe, and the thing and the thing with Metal Two is that we st- it's a great API. I think if people were actually making games for the Mac, it would be really cool. Right. People don't make games for the Mac that are good. You know, Hearthstone and and CS:GO and things. They're popular. They're popular games that will play on Linux or whatever. So you don't really need all that crazy API stuff to get the game to be looking great. Now the thing with Metal Two is that this is really good. Like I said on the creator side of things because it plugs into AR and VR games creation software, right. which is really good. And there's yeah. more creation software for gaming. And you can there's there and and if you're using if you're using Unreal Engine, you can develop your games on the Mac. You just can't play them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, just, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I, I do wonder, like, why not just go with Vulcan? Like, if I was a developer, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to develop for DirectX 12 and Vulcan and Metal 2. I, you know, I'm. It's it's too but much. People, but people get the time out for it. It's not worth it. But you you take the time out for DirectX 2 because you got to respect Mac Windows and their platform. Well, exactly. Right. And Vulcan is, is mobile gaming, and and it's soon going to be in, in everything. So, you know, you take time for Vulcan because it's the future of the APIs. Yeah. Metal Two is a good API. I think I think I think it's very important that we have this. Yeah. But until developers are taking gaming on Mac seriously, and also the Mac audience, people who buy Macs don't usually want a game anyway. It's so they, it, it costs too much. But yeah. that's a whole another story. We'll get to a little bit later. But you know, like if. <laughs> You're not gonna buy a five thousand dollar machine to game on, you know. It's just not. I don't, anyway, shit. Another story. <laughs> Wait a minute. Another story. <laughs> a whole other story. Hearthstone. I'll play Hearthstone on ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you would. I wouldn't. This guy. Mm-hmm. All right. So 
from Metal 2, now we have, uh, they also mentioned VR support, you know, baked into High Sierra, this guy with his Google <laughs> mess. <laughs> All right, so so they, they they showed their their VR support. They had this little uh, Star Wars scene. Did you guys see that? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was pretty dope. That's, I mean, the host was it was pretty dope. Yeah, it was it was very staged, but yeah. Ah, and she, yeah, she I mean, script too. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So oh, they, they they have support from from Steam, um, Steam VR support from um, from from Vive. So do you think this is gonna go somewhere? Actually. Uh, and, and as, as far as game consumption, I I don't know how much VR has done yeah. in general because I'm not a VR head. Um, I I think I think a, a lot of what Apple does, is, and I'm pretty sure we all agree, is they're they're a way for something to get something to look like it has potential of getting really popular, and they'll say, okay, we need to take this, add it to our own thing, you know, polish it up a little bit with our Apple gloss. And then start using it. So they see that ACC, Oculus, PlayStation, whoever else are doing a lot of VR things, and it's starting to get traction. It's starting to get better. It's starting to get cheaper. And so they're like, okay, let's add the hardware support to our system, so people don't have to go out and build this ridiculous computer to run it. And let's just start. You know, we'll team up with. I forgot who they're teaming up with. ACC, I think, and we'll start. You know, working with it. HCC is working with everybody with this. HCC is going to be a VR company. So they're trying not to go bankrupt. HCC, VR company. But um, the thing is, um, <laughs> is that is that I think that until Apple really makes a VR headset, or you know what I'm saying, or really gets behind one in like a Nexus kind of way, you know, um, are we actually ever, or are we really going to see support on Apple users really caring about? VR because I think the Windows users or the the you know the other power users who like VR the gamers who like VR if they have a Mac this is something that you know it it may entice them to play with it on their Mac but if, this is not the platform to use VR yet. Yeah, so, I you know, so. a- Apple just still doesn't really care about gaming. Now, as far as the, in the mobile space, they've they've done very well in gaming, but it's like. They don't really want to embrace it for the rest of their product line because I I really think Apple could have taken a leadership position in mm-hmm. gaming had they intended to in mm-hmm. the living room on the on on the uh the, the their 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 PCs that they could have done it but they don't really want to and there's this metal two thing and they're you know I I don't know I so like it, it wasn't their focus then but they're trying to like it's like there's this like it's not their their first five people on the floor in the basketball game they're like second bench. Right, you know, they kind of care about you, but yeah, you're not coming out first. Because <laughs> again, on the iPhone, you know, and the iPad, they they kill it as far as get gaming graphics and and performance. Like they really do, and then they just don't care otherwise, um, or they want you to pay with your firstborn child, which <laughs> I think is ridiculous. You can always make more, Christian. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, like ah, what's a child? Right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, All right. just ones and zeros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they also added external GPU support. Um, nice. I, I really, I mean, it's nice, but who's, who's, who's doing this? Video editors. See, that's, I, I can get behind external GPU support, even though I'm not going to go out and buy an external GPU. I like the idea that it's native now. You don't have to they, go through they, all the this is, this is long overdue. Thank yeah. God for Thunderbolt 3. Thank, thank yes. God for Thunderbolt 3. All right, I'm now like, I'm gonna jump in. Here's the thing. I was still in here's gaming. Thing. Mode. All right, all right. <laughs> right. I no, no, no. I in you. gaming mode, there's we're still an issue here because what you playing? With, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> also, you're booting, you're, you're booting also, into Windows, right? Right. right? And, well, the next thing is also with with with, with support right now. Every, the the driver world, the graphics world, we're all talking about Nvidia. It's the 10 series, uh, you know, uh, graphics cards, and there's no official OS support from it for nope. it so we're talking about you know the 1060 1070 cars that don't cost you a lot of money and give you great performance especially for those editors out there and those cad designers and all those other things and um you know it, you feel like if you feel left out here because now you have to go buy an expensive ass uh <laughs> amd uh graphics card to just be the equivalent and the ones now, that wait, say, not expensive what are you talking no, about no, no, to get the equivalent performance you gotta buy that Raven or Ryzen or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about it, right? The 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 1060 performance uh, comparable card 
It's not the R9. The 480 is pretty close. The 480? The, the R940, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the R40, where, like, where it is, right? They're, 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 they're almost equivalent. In most things, know, man. Well, yeah. all right. So, so now, you, so let's say I want, I want, I want, I want a 1080 or 1080 Ti. You stick, know, stick, stick with AMD. Do, do I got to go buy a Fire Pro? Fire Apple, Pro, Apple uh, apparently uh, likes, AMD, likes AMD, so yeah, that's man. that's what they're rocking with. Yeah, man, that's the contract. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's their what contract. they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah. So I'm just saying, it, it's at least we know Nvidia is working on injection. Um, drivers, so you can put, you know, uh, they're they're in super beta alpha right now, you know, yeah. but but it works, you know, in some things. So I think down the road, you know, we'll see something with that. But this is great because if now if you're a Mac user and you're not you don't want to buy a super expensive Mac to game, mm -hmm. but you want to buy like a MacBook Pro or and you want to, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to plug in your <laughs> graphics card. Five hundred dollars on an external. I mean, five hundred for an external is than like two thousand for a GPU. <laughs> the GPU. Hey, hey man, I mean, I mean, I, I assume I think we'll be selling GPUs and closures together at cheaper prices soon. I, I see this is everything's going down. But I mean, it's still it's cheaper to go out and buy an external GPU than to customize yeah. your system. Yep. Or if you can't customize it, right? <laughs> right. Oh, you gotta do it before you buy it. You gotta pre buy uh, it. <laughs> Right, right, the pre customization. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what was that? The configuration state. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. You better make the right decision. But speaking of pre customization, MacBook refresh. Oh my goodness. KB Lake CPUs, DDR4 yeah. RAM. Yeah. And a new lower price for the, the low end or the lower end models. Um, new, new low end models. Right. New low end models with a lower price, base price. No, they kept yeah. the. They didn't change any of the prices. They just add yeah, lower. The tiers. prices, the prices are lower. It's not it's, it's for the not, Pro. Like, it's now. Not for, for the it, it was, well, it well, they they added a low end one at a yeah. new low price. We have but, we uh, have a we have a twelve ninety nine twelve ninety nine Pro now. Uh, yeah, 1080 Pro because right. it has one hundred twenty eight gigs of storage. Right. Yeah. The they they, they made a lower model. Fourteen ninety nine is still fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they no, they no. they gave you a cheaper model. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta look at that. They were like, yeah. "Oh, we got cheaper MacBooks," but if you look at it, they just added yeah. another skew in there. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. The, the magnesium and put right. some plastic on it. Like it's cheaper, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think that's the one without the touch bar, anyways. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Man. Touch bar, stupid. <laughs> so I mean, th this this was necessary. This was. Maybe like yeah, Expected. everything else. I mean, like DDR four, yes, definitely. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is not groundbreaking. This is what they're supposed to do, right? Like, was it? This is this was just the standard refresh. Yeah. And, and you can get it in thirty two gig now. So and I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people are happy that I think Apple will start being more in line with their CPU upgrades because the last few years they started to lack racks. Right. And yeah. you're like, oh, we're gonna put out this new Mac. But it's gonna have last year's CPU, and you're right. just like, wait a minute, just wait a few months. Like, what are you doing? You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think All right, people are not happy about that. All right, so okay. MacBook refresh, Javon. I know you like the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a slight <laughs> angle. I'm giving that thumbs up. That, that price, that that low price, messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got some beef. We got some Yeah, Jack his whole day. Beef. He already yeah, ordered it. He's gonna be mad when he gets it. Now. He's like, what is this? What's with the lines? <laughs> <laughs> dang, dang. All right. Well, next up, we got new IMAX as well. Um, so the standard IMAX, kind of a similar refresh, KB Lake, DDR4 RAM. Um, anything else exciting with that? I don't think so. They're brighter. As, as far as yeah. the standard IMAX. They're, they're brighter. 48% 40, brighter. 48% okay. brighter. Which means they were like at 55. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Kind of weird, but I mean, yeah, they, they, got, they, got, they got Thunderbolt though. Yay! Oh, yeah, they got yeah. Thunderbolt C or yeah, yeah, Thunderbolt C. Oh, yeah, that's true. They had this two ports right in the back. Yeah, yeah two, two ports, ports in the back. USB C yeah. in the back. Two additional yeah. ports. Yeah. 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 Like in your external yeah. graphics. There yeah. we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. IMAX with the win there. Yes. IMAX and external graphics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. what else are you going to put it on? A MacBook? The MacBook. Yeah. A Mac Pro? Right? <laughs> <laughs> The Thunderbolt 2 Mac Pro. Huh? That's the whole <laughs> stupid thing about this. Anyway, anyway so on to the exciting piece, huh? The iMac Pro. 
What? Let's do it. All right, you guys. It's only five grand. Uh, <laughs> only. That's what only. they put on stage. <laughs> you can have up to 128 gigs of RAM. This is insane. Get your 8, 10, or 18 core CPU. And this thing's going to be on fire. 5K display, Javon. You buying this, right? Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so. <laughs> but wait, wait, you didn't talk about the biggest feature. The biggest feature about this iMac Pro is that it comes in space black. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, yes. And yep. the keyboard and the mouse. It comes with all right. <laughs> all it comes set up. With all black everything. <laughs> <laughs> all black everything. And you get a magic mouse too with a magic keyboard too in the box. Oh, my gosh. So. Okay, you, you guys, tell me who who's buying this iMac Pro and why? No <laughs> so people like to burn money. Again. Nah, man, I, got, I, got, I have a child now. I got to do things differently. <laughs> he's, he's, he's ordering the, ba the, I mean, the base he's, model. I mean, listen, you, you don't got to eat three meals a day. I keep telling you that. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, like I said for for the for the configurations, this is a really good workstation computer. For people that upgrade computers in four-year cycles, um, you know it has DDR RAM four. It can go up to 128 gigabytes. It has uh, you know that, that that's clean, clean matte uh, space gray, Fire Pro uh, 580x graphics card. So this is the the, the high-end stuff. Finally, on the same level as like some gaming equivalent AMD and 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 Nvidia GPUs. So it's really good for that. You know, it has an oddly lower um display brightness than the regular IMAX, whatever. Um, but the maybe big the heat issue. Who knows why? Yeah, but maybe probably because of the <laughs> because it comes with Xeon cores for workstation great uh you know uh, CPUs that you get an eight or a ten or eighteen core Xeon processor in there. Uh, I people I mean shit I honestly didn't do, do you that's server grade stuff. I mean I don't know. I, I'm not really sure what you come, what you what you gonna compute with that kind of power, whether it's like a mapping software like ArcGIS or AutoCAD or whatever. But I feel like you can do all that stuff with a high with a good i7 or i5. So, but if you have to have it, it's there. And also, this is the only pro level desktop app has available. So if you're an Apple ecosystem and you develop on Apple, this is the only thing you can get right now that that that's a pro level machine. That's not the I, that because because the, the MacBook the Mac Pro is obsolete. In all sense of the word specs. So I guess if you're Disney and your animators need a Mac, yeah, yeah, right, and you don't about. care how much it costs, you just order up like forty of these, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have any other choice, right? What well, choice exactly. you have for a pro level Xeon chip um, MacBook, right? You know. Or Mac Mac Pro? You know what I'm saying? Not. Like it's just this is it. I mean, I, I think I think this is good. Now the pricing. Is fair in terms of business needs. Most companies will have like you know forty five thousand in, in computer ordering you know for like a certain department. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So this seems like like shit. If this was Chiltech right now, I'm ordering ten of these right now. You know what I'm saying? We are working on these. So hello, Bam. what was that? Keon over there making phone calls. Hey, right. <laughs> We're cheating on us over here. Yeah, all right. He said, "Listen, guys, this is the <laughs> on next podcast. What's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know, but I'm just saying, like, just, you know, like this was Chill Tech, and we all were using like, like you know, we had better office space, and we're all using our computers. I would, I think this is something good for small businesses too. No, you order a lot of these, and then you upgrade because a lot of these people, we have, you have money to refresh every, and you have to use it, so you upgrade these computers every four years. Javon, <laughs> this junk, this this computer is five thousand dollars. Starting five thousand. <laughs> Starting five thousand. Like starting five thousand. I mean, the Mac Pro three uh, years unless, ago. Unless, unless, at 4, unless you must, yeah. Like uh, unless you, without a screen, some, unless you have to have a Mac. <laughs> if you have to have a Mac, like if you must use a Mac, then you have to buy this. Like I, I don't, I don't think you want to. I think you have to buy this. Yeah. If if you don't have to buy this. I think don't buy it this because is, it comes too much. This is for prosumers. We're, 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 prosumers who must have a Mac, yeah. like they have to have it. Yeah. I mean, I, they're, they're, Apple's not gonna Apple's not gonna 
sell a hundred thousand of these units. They're not planning to. Yeah, you know? this is not that. The iMac, that, that was the iMac's for. The iMac Pro is specifically for prosumers that use OS, that use Mac OS. Because the thing about that is that Macs in general to this day are still not good for enterprise. I, I support all the Macs for, for their partner of interior and they're they're not made. They're not made for enterprise. You, you have to you start to use third party software just to manage AD. So at the end of the day, you know, Apple Apple users who use, you know, IBAX or, or you know as as a professional tool, it's for content creation. And this is what you use. This is what you buy for content creation. So 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 tell me the the, the, the pro users. Would they rather have this or an actual Mac Pro? That they can upgrade and repair and tinker with and do whatever. Well, the, the last Mac Pro, separate monitor. The last Mac Pro only allowed you to upgrade RAM and hard drive space. So right, no, no so I'm saying an actual Mac Pro. Well, it, it depends. Like so, business, but before the trash can. A business will probably like the iMac Pro just because they don't need to do all the tinkering. But if it's like some dude, some individual, he'll probably like the Mac Pro. So business. I, I, I think you know. probably like will like the 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 a Mac a, a real Mac Pro. Because yeah, I think it, it's so. easier, to, easier to support, easier to upgrade, easier to maintain. But for the user who needs, who, who doesn't have a, you know, an expensive ass IT department, they have two guys that are the guys, right? And who set up small local area printers and they and it support like fifty people. They're like, dude, plug this in, put in your put in your what your company email. Let's make sure you have an AD account. You're good to go. See, right? I still wouldn't want this because if something goes wrong, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to? Support this thing. Uh, you take it Apple from, from a hardware level. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> just saying, like, after, yo, yo, you, you, even, even at enterprise level, there's some things where you just can't. You even, you even, you avoid the warranty on on it on a uh, iMac. So it, it's better off to just take it to Apple Care and work whatever deal you have out with them. Some inter- and a, a uh, whatever deal you have with Apple Care or whatever, just take it to them, man. They'll they'll swap it out for a new one or replace whatever. That's it. True that. All right, if you say so. So you guys like this? I like it. I wouldn't get it, but I do like it. I think I think we needed to have this. We needed something pro desktop level. Yeah, but this, I mean, this I, is I, a, I agree. If they were missing a a around. pro device, and th- this is this is a pro device. Yeah, th- this isn't the desktop you were looking for. But at the end of the day, the you desktop know, you're looking for is still coming, though. Right. Well, we we assume. I mean, <laughs> a lot of the rumors kind of fit right here. So yeah. I mean, because nobody asked for this. Right, like, <laughs> you know I mean? like, like nobody was like, man, I wish they would make a, a pro iMac. Like, that's not yeah. something anybody yeah. has ever said, but they made. You, it. you already assumed the iMac was a pro machine in some ways, right? No, the iMac is I, not I, a pro I, machine. I mean, well, now that they have, well, they might, oh, we, we didn't mention last time, but now the iMacs have dedicated GPUs. You know, yeah, to, like I, ass- so. I assume that the twenty-seven inches, if you spec them out. They're more of a pro machine than anything yeah, else. They're, 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 you, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like at that point, what do you really, you know, the Xeon chips is the big difference for one. And then after that, because matter of fact, you could get a Xeon chip in, a, in an iMac before. Um, this was back when they first did the slim design and the fusion drives. You can get a 27-inch tw- a iMac with a uh, Xeon chip. With the I mean, yeah, you can max out all the stats, and it, you can make a pro machine out of an iMac. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think you I don't think you think of an iMac as a pro machine. You no, make no, it up, no. you make it into a pro machine if you must use an iMac and you need a pro machine. But okay, see, yeah, an, an no. iMac is not a pro like no all in one device is a pro machine that you, you know what I mean like that's not yeah in general yeah, yeah. In general, yeah you're, you're right you're right you're right that, that's you get one yeah, yeah you're right no 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 one's like dude I want a pro all in one device like that's yeah, not no, a, I mean, <laughs> even, even the XPS twenty seven and that that's like the you know and and the Surface. Studio, you don't look at that as like a pro device because everything's integrated. You know, if you can't upgrade, right. it's not really a pro yeah. device. But at the same but time, I mean, even laptops aren't really pro, pro, right? Like, well, but what does pro mean anymore? Uh, you know what I'm saying? And I don't. I think back to the big question too. Apple is just uh, the name pro to Apple doesn't mean the same thing as everyone else. True that. Yeah, yeah. Pro, I guess pro, pro just means have. have more Better. pros and cons. I, I mean, we're, we're, we're <laughs> pro, pro means creator, right? So yeah, we're, yeah, we're, exactly. we're all creators. Like, like instead of S, is. it's pro. It's all it is. <laughs> it's the S of the desktops. All right. Mm-hmm. So now to the the juicy piece. All right. Well, I'm sorry, Javon. I'm sorry, Javon. I almost forgot. Uh oh. Thumbs. 
Oh, no, it was some good old thumbs right there. Don't mind what you're looking like, bro. Put that thumb up, bro. <laughs> All right, well, before, so now we got the home pod. I'm not going to start off like this. Uh, um, yeah, I'll put you in that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and vote now. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so the, the home pod, I'm, I'm going to say this is Apple's attempt to come after Sonos, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, it has Siri voice control, automatic room sensing technology. Um, it uses the home app for remote access, home kit integration. Who uses home kit? Some people. Um, home, home kit, is, home kit is, is more secure, um, which means less people, less people will actually want to <laughs> make, make devices that use it. Um, but you know, it, it's a good thing. Um, A8 Fusion chip, it's got a four inch woofer, and seven beam forming tweeters, so it's supposed to sound good. Um, AirPlay two, two, which we're not sure what that is. We, we think we, 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 we think it helps with multi room and other advanced AirPlay features. Um, this thing comes in at three forty nine. A, a bit money, a bit money. That's a starting price. But, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll be yeah. upgradable, right? If you so, want to, if you want to they... go, oh yeah, baby, that's ninety nine. I feel, like they might, I feel like later on they might do like a HomePod 1, HomePod, or like HomePod yeah. small, HomePod medium, you know, something like that. Yeah, I mean, so. Especially if Sonos is the target. Yeah, which I, I, I do agree. I feel I, like I Sonos and Bose are the targets. Because here's the, here's the thing. It costs too much to compete with Google Home or oh, Amazon, Echo, Echo. Yeah. right? And it's not as good at what they do. Yeah. Also. It's not focused on that. Right. Yeah. So, so it, it's it's not good at what they do, and it costs more than them. So that can't be the competition, right? Um, it's better than Sonos at smart things, and it's trying to sound as good. Um, well, let's, well, let's, look, let's look at who's who's Sonos target audience: people me. that buy MacBooks, people that want people who go out the way. To buy ex you know expensive accessories. So is for people, people, people that want audio on their home. Like, that's <laughs> no, 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 that's, I'm, that's I'm, everybody. I'm, I'm talking about like upper next upper echelon people who want it who want to have that 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 high end of system. Sonos is the the pinnacle of audio surround sound in the house. That's it. Like 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 there's a go higher than that, and they're they're great about it. Consumer ready. Yeah. Bose, right. Bose if you has, don't want to run cords and all, you know, all the Bose has the same feature. Bose sounds great. <laughs> right. Bose sounds great. Bose has the same features as, as, as a lot of Sonos uh, um, connect, connected play speakers, and no one gives them the love that, that, that they deserve. And they're, and they're freaking Bose of all people. Sonos I've tried both, but I still pick Sonos over. Listen, Sonos. I mean, Sonos. They're they're the man. I have it on around my house. Sonos is the man. Now the thing is, though, right, is that with Sonos, it works well now with existing. Smart home accessories. Google Home can play the Suno. Can play, can play the Sonos. You can even add Sonos into a into a group um, of audio with Google Homes and a Sonos device playing. So at the end of the day, Sonos has a great reputation behind it. Apple wants a, a piece of that pie because they know the the prosumers that buy you know say or or the audio affiliate people whatever they're called um, or files or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those people they they're gonna buy. The, you know they're they're the more they're more likely to buy that you know five thousand dollar iMac with, with with a Sonos speaker. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like Apple knows that they're you know they the whole the whole presentation the iPod presentation. You know that without they're focusing on the music, but they're not really focusing on the music. They're focusing on the name behind the music. I still want to see can they actually sound better in the Sonos because. At, um, at at base point, the so the Sonos One is one ninety nine, and some places you can get it for one fifty and whatnot. Yeah, right now, one seventy five. Yeah, so you know that's a killer price in its own, and that sounds fantastic. Yep. So so if you have and even the that, three is two ninety nine, so yeah, even the and, next and, level and they is still cheaper. About adding firmware, right? Adding firmware to support whether Alexa or something like that down the road. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying it if you. Apple knows already. Music first. They're not. They're not really good. They're, they're saying they they want to compete. They're not really going to compete. Could compete. This is just them getting people to justify buying a HomePod. Oh yeah, it's for the music, honey. You know. You know we all like music. And then he buys it, and then you're like, Hey Siri, 
and it doesn't do anything. You know what I'm no, saying? No, like, no one's saying hey Siri to this thing. I don't know. They're, I don't they're, know. They're, 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 they're really not. I feel like with the home pod, Apple's gonna be able to take a little bit of people from the Sonos crowd and a little bit of people from the Echo home crowd. Not the majority of either, but you know, yeah, some people that have the Echo that want some better sound, and some people that have the home that want some better sound, but they don't really want to deal with a lot of different things. Right. And also are in the Apple e ecosystem, right? Because again, yeah. it's very closed in. And since I'm now kind of out of it, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to like. I'm not going to buy this speaker if I don't already also have like iPhone, Apple Music. Like, right. it's, it's it's not a good experience unless I'm in the system. Um, with the only yeah. review that I've heard about the speaker is that definitely beats out Home Echo. So it wasn't a competition for that. Oh for yeah, Sonos. It, it does sound better than a Play 1. And I can see it sounding better than a Play 1. It's almost twice as expensive. Plus, it's 360 surround sound with seven different tweeters. And, a, you know, I, I can see that. It's, it's easy. Right. Um, so that's, but that's the only speaker, only review I heard. And it was just like a, like two tweets. It wasn't like a full 1,000 word review. So I, I can't justify the price of it yet until I hear it because it's supposed to be a, to be a speaker first, Siri later. Because right. they didn't really, they did improve Siri with her like hi-fi voice and her understanding other language, whatever. They didn't really do anything to her like knowledge graph. Right. So, exactly. It's not. Well, how, how 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 can they? They're talking about this privacy where everything's gonna be on the device. <laughs> Come on, man. It's, right. It's, yeah, I, I was, I was telling, I was telling uh, uh, Javon earlier that this week that since the HomePod came out, I hate the name by the way. I think it's stupid. And the design. Both yeah, are it's terrible. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but since it came out, I started researching Sono speakers. Like that that that's the effect it had on me. Cause I don't I don't have anything like that in my house. And I was like, well, if I can get something like that for cheaper, now now I'm interested in you know nice speakers that I can attach to a Google Home or an Echo yeah. or something else that I'm not locked in the Apple ecosystem. So for me, this device has now made me want to buy a Sonos. And then another thing that they talk about, <laughs> they yeah. also mention like this is going to help people with Apple Music and having an Apple subscription. They never said anything about other music sources no. supports or Bluetooth support. Yep. They did say AirPlay, which you know with right. AirPlay, you can use Spotify stuff. Yeah, but then you need another device. Then you have to have another device on you at all times. Right. And they already announced what the what it can support out the box, and that's that's Siri search queries. Um, music recognition. Um, it says it will support iMessage, iCalendar, and a podcast. Yeah, like it's Apple. Like, I, <laughs> you know, like if again, if I'm in, if I if I'm down with Apple, then I'm buying this, and that's what they want, well, right? I mean, I'm down with yeah. Apple. But I'm not down with yeah, Apple. Yeah, but if you're down with Apple, so. it doesn't mean you don't like. You don't have Spotify or Google Play yeah. Music or, or I don't Amazon Music or whatever. I don't people, people, people will use AirPlay and they'll stream it and they'll find a way because know, but, they're, 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 they're not trying to talk to Siri anyway, right? Because no one uses Siri, so they don't care about that. They're just going to have their device. They're going to have AirPlay to my nice thing, speaker, dude. and then it's going to be fine. Or it'll AirPlay from my MacBook or whatever. If I'm already doing that, then I'm going to buy a different speaker that, you know, Sounds better, but it's not Apple, and it, does, it it doesn't automatically recognize the room and all this. I mean, Sonos does that, so being you know, for me, stuff. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know, so you know, you know, I I think that they're they're trying to they're trying to pull more money from their fans, of course, um, or and know, get new fans as, as well. A, a few, a few. Yeah, not, they're not gonna get a lot, but they'll get yeah. a couple. Here, here's the thing, though, they need to hurry up because once Sonos has a speaker that has Google Assistant built in. The actual Google Assistant? I don't know if they're working on that. I f they're working on... Um, what they have called? to be. They're working, well, they're working on what's it, connectivity. Because right now, you can't tell Alexa to play something directly to Sonos. You can't tell Home to play something directly to Sonos. But you can say, like, Alexa, tell my smart things to tell Sonos. Like, you can go third party. Right. So they're working on direct connection, which is going to be dope in itself. Plus, they're still putting out speakers. They just put out a speaker, like, a month ago. Mm -hmm. So it's like... I don't know. I don't know how Apple's gonna do it with just one. Plus, also Sonos, speaker. they're they're different because they don't. Their speakers aren't just speakers. They have speakers. They have separate tweeters. They have subwoofers mm -hmm. that are freaking huge and fill up the room. They have their own little tweakers on yeah, the side. Yeah, they're loud. <laughs> right, and, and you know, and it's like like when when you think of house party, 
you think of like curated playlists, they're saying, you know, people can come in there. I mean, first of all, first of all, I hate to bring it up, but remember, remember the Nexus Q? Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is, this is nothing new. You can, <laughs> you can, you can do, you can go into a room with you now with your Google Play music and make your own play. Everybody can put their own song into a playlist mm -hmm. and it curates and plays itself. So. <clears throat> that, 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 that's nothing new. But the fact of the matter is that when you're thinking of that, the getting that complete audio sound, that party sound, there's, there's been no mention of multiple home pods coming together and playing over mesh networking. They mentioned it in terms of Sonos can do it, but then I mean, they, they didn't have multi room audio, so they did they, say they can do it. They did say they can say that they, they, they can set two like the same room, they'll work together and, and, and synchronize and, 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 and whatever. Like, 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 like right and left, like surround, yeah. like, okay. Well then, I, that's different then, because I know Sonos. But who's buying two of these? Well, I don't. Well, okay, I don't know about left and right, but I, it will play like the same music, same right. time. Right. I mean, so. everything does that. I mean, I'm saying that. You know, <laughs> I'm, saying, like, I'm saying like, like Sonos, they're they're great. They're more precise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sonos like, is different. Sonos has like you have two, like, and one's yeah, like the right side, and one's the left side. They don't give you like that far away. So it feels like yeah. you're like in a concert, you know, like has that like. Like the, the area surrounding sound. So when you move, you know, like I said, man, and, and you know, and, and the technologies that plug into them, the people that support Sonos, the Apples, the Googles, the Samsungs, everyone who plugs their things into Sonos so that way everything can work and you know integrate it and better. These are the guys, these you know, these these are the people that are gonna help push Sonos to be better. Apple's like, yeah, screw you guys. You know, they mention them in, you know in a good sport, but they're trying to attack them on their own play field and oh, Apple has no experience here. So, you know, yeah. the it, it was an interesting move, and the the name the naming the, the naming is horrible. Um, the the design. Design is horrible. I, I don't want a home pod. Yeah. <laughs> they should drop like the it pod. Sounds okay. dumb. Like yeah, pod. home, Apple home. They Apple wanted home to do it. So you know, like, yeah. oh, Google. No, no, just do it. Just do it. It's recognizable. <laughs> yeah, just I don't do know. They, 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 real talk. I feel they like I said I Apple like, speaker, and it had been better. Look, I feel like home pod and this whole pod thing was. All done up in, in like in like uh, like February. They were just like, yo, I can't wait for the Apple speaker to drop. Yeah, was, Apple Home is gonna be tight, smart home. They're like, hey, hey, how is that Siri still coming along? I'm like, wait, we're working on Siri shit. <laughs> like, yeah, remember the whole meeting? You're working on Siri. <laughs> just like, oh yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do anything. We gave, we gave us some new names though. So they have a new voice and a guy. They're like, uh, mm. all right, then. Pod, all right. Pod, 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 yeah, pod I, like, I don't even understand why we. They're they're, they're hoping. First of all. Most kids, sadly to say today, don't even know what, uh, what iPods even are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like, we're that removed from iPods now. Yeah. So the, the make, name. They still make iPods, too. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, right? Think about it, right? Think about it. They sell iPods and no one buys iPods. Kids, okay. kids would rather buy a, a Fire tablet than an iPod. Well, I mean, why are you buying an iPod and not buying an iPhone? Just buy Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> why? I mean, why are you doing that to yourself? What is it? Yeah, isn't isn't yeah. the uh, the five the, the 5C or 5S almost the same price or whatever? The SE. That's it, right? Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't make no sense. Yeah, or just, or just get a, a cheap Android phone that yeah. and don't, you don't even need service. Yeah, you don't even need service. It'll, it'll play music. All you, right? All you need is <laughs> right in Wi Fi. Uh, and and it's Instagram, Snapchat, your, your kids are playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Devon, are you even swayed to move away from Sonos to get a home pod? Not even a little bit. Kristen, you said you were researching Sonos. Are you yeah. thinking about home pod at all? Not, not at all. Not at all. Not and at all. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm not moving away from Sonos. They yeah, be, be way too good to me. I, I, I don't see any, any reason for this. And, and here, here's expensive. Thing. Here's the thing. But then the day, one is, one is <laughs> yeah. moving, one's not. And Apple may have been a mistake. This doesn't come out until December, right? Yeah. So yeah. a lot of can happen between now and then. We're, we're supposed to get a, a, a refreshed uh, Google Home with Wi-Fi. Yep. Right. You know, and, and again, we already know that that, that that the Google yeah. Assistant can be put on other devices. Yeah. So we don't know what's going to come out from I, third parties. If, if also all we need is a Sonos speaker with with Bluetooth with a uh, with Google Assistant or Alexa, and then that's exactly it. this done. And, and we already like, heard Alexa's coming. So yeah. it's like, so, I'm not saying right. Like, you know it's not even so, a thing. At the end, at the end no, of the day, that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Like it's not even a thing. I mean, because because there's other thing. Google Assistant is already on iOS. Yeah. Right, like they're already moving it everywhere. So if I can have Google Assistant on my iPhone and have better speakers through Sonos, like why am I even fooling with this home popping that costs more? They, they, this is this is the trash can MacBook again. <laughs> and this, this design, me, this is one of the, the biggest downfalls for anybody doing events is when you say, "Look at this nice shiny new thing I got. Everybody wants it. You want it. You want it. Cool. It costs this much. It's going to do all this stuff." 
but you need to wait six months, a year, two yep. years. Yeah, or maybe yeah. I don't even know if it's going to come out. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> you're shooting yourself way in the foot. Like the AirPods, right? Like, those took forever. Those yeah. got the late, like, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You should be like, yeah. this is what I got. It's coming out in a, in a, in a month. In a month. That's fine. Right. That's fine. <laughs> and it, it better be ready December also. Because if oh, they yeah. slip and miss December, mm. It's that's, dead. A, that's their biggest. That's Christmas right there. It's dead if if they, if, if if they miss December. It, it's but it, I will give you prompts that like, the MacBooks, the MacBooks, they already started shipping out. The iMacs already started shipping out. Yeah. So they did some things. They do really well. But, but, but these are these are small upgrades, you know, to an existing yeah. hardware. They just had to this, change. This is, this is this is you know <laughs> an old new device. Yeah, they just well, had to change the CPU for that. <laughs> and just like you know Alexa and, and Google Home, they're very consciously aware of where the placement of these devices are. This is design. This design doesn't mesh well in home decors right now. Even modern yeah. home decors, it doesn't mesh well. And unless they have ways to change the color and stuff like that by yeah. launch, a lot of people won't buy it just because of it doesn't match the decor of the home. It's a piece of tech now in the middle of the house. And a lot of people mm-hmm. don't want that. They want something to blend into their decor. Something you know, like it's like like I said, having interchangeable bases, those those skins and things that actually matters so to yeah. a large set of consumers. So at this point. Um, we need to see some changes before the, the launch date with, with HomePod. Start with the name. So they got to change that. They need to change uh, a lot of things in iOS 11. Oh, yeah. They got, oh, some yeah. Work to do. They got some they work got, to do. They got a lot of work to do. All a right. lot of half big products this year. Yeah. So, you guys, we, we've gone run kind of long. So, in, in closing, oh, yeah. tell, tell me kind of your, your final thoughts about Apple. Um, Kian, you can go first. Um, I enjoy the company. I enjoy a lot of their products. I enjoy... That they give out betas because it's good for us to tell them, hey, you need to change this and that and this. iOS 11, just like everybody's saying, is so much. It's a really huge upgrade for the iPad. Mm-hmm. iPhones, not too much. There's a lot of things they need to work on. Um, MacBook, I'm I'm excited to see the refresh. You know, it's not a big deal, but whatever. I, I do like that they're on same CPUs. Um, iMacs, again, excited to see the refresh. I'm excited that the iMac Pro exists, but it is not a device for me. Um, Watch OS didn't do anything new that I really cared about. TVOS, again, didn't do anything new that I cared about. HomePod is not what it needs to be. So, like, overall, it's, it's, they did some good refreshes, but it wasn't, this wasn't a huge WWDC that, you know, it some other events be. might be. Yeah. yeah. You, they said it's going to be the biggest and best. Yeah, it, it wasn't really. You just had a lot of things to talk about. Yeah, they, they, they had a lot of hardware, which was nice. Was a lot of a lot of small things to talk about, you know. Yeah. So. yeah. Javon? Um, I feel like Apple really missed the mark this year with software. Hardware, I think they did fine. You know, even outside of the HomePod, the refreshes were very necessary. I, I like the iMac Pro. I like the direction of 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 that product for the for those prosumers. Um, you know. Uh, interesting not to see anything in terms of hardware for the Apple Watch, but you know this is we'll wait to the fall. Um, same thing, same thing with with TVOS. Wait, wait to the fall. I, I do assume they'll have a four K player by the you know by the end of this year. Um, iOS eleven was a huge disappointment for me for everything outside of the iPad. The iPad it got a great update. I think this is well deserved, um, and it even seems more customizable just because of the dock. iPhones. The, the interface of iOS is so stale and lacking so much. And they so many of the things are becoming harder. Notifications is so bad in iOS. It's horrendous in iOS. And it got worse. I, I don't know why they didn't add the Files app across to all iOS devices. Why does what it mean? only have to be on It's on iPhone. iPhone. It's on iPhone. The Files app is going to be on iPhone too? It's already on iPhone. The Files app? Yes. I could oh. show you if my camera would focus. Okay. Well, then, <laughs> because I, I need to file that. That files app is important. And um, so if it's, on, if it's on the iPhones and staying on the iPhones, yeah, then that's it. great. Then that's great. Because I know they really focus on the iPads. They didn't specify on the iPhones. And that's really important to have access to some type of root folder directory. But overall, I feel like just the software, Mac OS Sierra was a miss. You know, they, they didn't really upgrade anything who are people who are not heavy into Apple, you know, software, like like photos, iMessage, iCloud. Besides very incremental updates to battery life and a few polishes, I didn't feel like this was the update that I, I was looking for as a Mac user. I wanted something something that was, you know, kind of better for everyone, you know, like, like works for all the things that I wanted to do, whether it's a feature or whatever, you know, 
they're just it's, it's just it's lacking software. Apple is a really bad software company. <laughs> It's true. This is funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think for me the, the one thing that I really like that I mentioned before is what they've done with iOS 11 for the iPad. Yeah. Um, I I think that's really pushed it ahead. Um, it makes me actually want an iPad so I can yeah. actually get down and start doing some of this stuff. Um, overall, with Apple, I just I really feel like they've they've lost vision. They've they've lost anything. Inside. They're they had a lot of good things, but there were things that they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like if, if I go to school and I get all Bs, like, yeah, that's fine. You know what I mean? It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm supposed to do, right? Like, you know, get, get yeah. an A plus, get extra credit, like, mm-hmm. surprise me, right? Like, it, it's like, like for me, like, growing up, you know, I got good grades. So if I came home with an A, like, did nobody care, right? Because I've been getting A's. You know, Apple's been getting A's, and now they're kind of getting some A's and some B's, right? So now we're disappointed right. because what are you doing? Like, it's, you're it's supposed to be getting A's. A's. And is it fair to them? Not necessarily, but that's what they did. You know, they were getting A's, A pluses, extra credit, and now they're getting B's, um, which is fine. But, again, it's not exciting, and I, I hope by the fall they can show us something that brings them back to – that visionary, that kind of startup feel status. Right now, looking like Microsoft was. Like, I think Microsoft mm-hmm. has overtaken them as far as at least trying some new things. Yeah, and, uh, and, and you know, e- even Microsoft doing this whole mixer thing for gaming. Like, mm-hmm. I-, I-, I think Microsoft is looking more to the future. I think Apple is just sitting and taking in cash. Also, and like, piling it like Scrooge McDuck and swimming around in it and not doing anything. So. Yeah, um, Microsoft um, also desperate, also. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but again, but, you know, Microsoft yeah. really yeah. made this pivot once, once their CEO changed, right? Like yeah. they've they've been totally yeah. different since the change, and I feel like same maybe here. Apple's got to do the same thing. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I don't think Tim Cook is the guy to yeah. lead them. Uh, Tim Cook is is Steve Ballmer for for Apple. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like he's gonna run it into the ground. They're gonna bring somebody in, apparently from India. Yeah. I think that's the thing to do. That's the thing right now. But bring him over, <laughs> uh, kick him out, and let's let's get this thing started. Right. Um, so we like that's, that's my final two cents. So. All right, folks, we we've gone long, but we, we we covered everything. I think all the all the high points, all the low points. Um, you know, till next time. Thanks for watching, Kian. Where, where can people find you, man? What are you up to? Apparently, you guys can find me here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, other places you can find me. Um, Keep an eye on my YouTube. I'm telling. I, I tell you guys every time, even though I only put out like one update a month or whatever. Just keep an eye on my YouTube. One day it's gonna be popping, and you're gonna be like, "Dang, I should have been there to begin with." Um, otherwise, check me out on any social network with my username Chaoser, which I don't have here, but it's K H A O S Z R. And I also write for Your Tech Explained. Just finished up a few different articles and editorials about the S8 Plus, so I should be ready to. Look at other technologies. So just check me out anywhere. Chaoser, YouTube, Your Tech Explained, and here. Boom. All right. So you heard it first. CTS will be buying out tech <laughs> and, and name. We're, we're, we're waiting on that, on, that, on, that, on that approval for the merger. Right? <laughs> he said um, buying. Right? <laughs> uh, we we have prices. money. That's funny. I'm going to give you them, give you them Apple prices. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Javon, uh, Javon, but burns money anyway so he'll be like sure hey take it yeah, right man let's go ahead this is good buy more property man. all right all right Javon. so what's what's, what's happening with uh chill tech yeah man you know what's going on man we have a website now so check us out www.chilltechstudio.com mike just posted a blog there not too long ago and talking about uh you know nerds and dating so you know it's kind of cool mm-hmm. to see how us nerds and how we you know Intermingles with each other and maybe Get sometimes down in Boogie Town. <laughs> you know, nerdy, nerdy yes. each other. It's Check an old it too. So uh, that's an interesting read. And if you want to see more things related to tech and nerd culture, lifestyle, and if you want to see some cool new things like swag tech coming soon to Chill Tech, stay tuned. Yeah. All right, folks. That wraps it up. You can find us on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. Chill Tech Studio. Look us up. Follow, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, folks. Peace. Thumbnail photo. Peace.